This is a magnetic level gauge manufactured by KTEC. The principle of this gauge is that a pressure bearing chamber, right here, that vertical uh, chamber, connected to the process vessel, two points, two uh, entry nozzles on the vessel, contains a magnetic float. And as the liquid level in that vessel rises and falls in this cage, the float rises and falls with it. Now the float is magnetic, and this chamber here is non-magnetic. So that means you can have an object outside of the chamber, such as that fluorescent orange follower, that magnetically follows the float inside. So this way, instead of having to have a pressure-resistant glass tube, or uh, quartz tube, through which you can see the liquid level or the position of a float, now you can magnetically sense the position of that float inside of a non-magnetic cage, which bears the process liquid pressure. So that means this glass tube we see right here with the orange fluorescent indicator is a non-pressurized element. It's nothing more than a piece of plastic. It doesn't have to be strong at all. Also, it means we can attach other devices to this which can likewise sense the position of the float. For example, this accessory right here is a level switch. It closes an electrical contact every time the level exceeds a certain point. In this case, it happens to be a high level switch. It does not activate until the magnetic float rises to a fairly high level on the marker. Over here, we have another accessory bolted to the same magnetic level gauge. This is a pneumatic switch. If you look inside there, you can see the mechanism actually changes state, makes a noise when it does, every time that the liquid level rises above a certain position. This pneumatic switch can shuttle air pressure uh, to different uh, locations and directions. In this case, it can vent air pressure, let's say from a control valve for a safety shutoff feature. Anytime the liquid level exceeds a certain point, the pneumatic switch will flip and vent pressure from the control valve so that it uh, dumps the level from the tank or stops filling or whatever the function of that valve might be. So this is a very versatile yet simple level measurement device. It incorporates the features of a level gauge a plain direct operator indication with some safety features. We don't have to have a pressurized glass tube uh, since all the process pressure is borne by the non-magnetic cage. And at the same time, we can also attach accessories like high or low level switches and pneumatic switches for uh, pneumatic signals. In addition, you could also attach an accessory to this gauge uh, that uses magnetostriction to determine exactly where that float is and produce an analog output signal. That way this device can actually function as a level transmitter in addition to being level switch and level gauge.